Alright, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. We're gonna do a classic comfort food on this episode. We're gonna do biscuits and gravy. I got almost five pounds of biscuits back here. I got four pounds of sausage and God know, even knows how much gravy this is gonna make, but it's probably gonna be about 14 pounds. It's gonna be huge. Mr. Pool's over there, he's gonna give me the assist. We're gonna put this thing together, but biscuits and gravy. You guys have been asking for it. I always ask for it because it's delicious. So we're gonna go ahead this massive biscuits and gravy together. All right, so here we go. We got the Jimmy Dean Jimmy breakfast Dean. sausage. Not even breakfast, it's just premium Regular. pork sausage. Regular pork Regulator. sausage. Regulator pork sausage. Going in, brown this stuff up a little bit here. Make sure we get it all out of the package. Don't want people to think we're cheating. I tell you the last time I had breakfast sausage. I don't know if they haven't been to a breakfast buffet in how long. Is, can't, there's only like one buffet in our entire area that's open. Not breakfast. It's not even necessarily our area. No, it's not even. Yeah, it's not even like our area. We have to travel to get it. But there's the there's four pounds of breakfast sausage in. We'll get the gravy going in there. We got the oven preheating for the biscuits. We got the grands. We got the good stuff. So each one of these has eight big biscuits big pop press and peel these things never work for me though I'm gonna tell you right now they never work I, I always do this and then very good we got one that time so in total we're gonna have 32 biscuits I feel like no matter how many ranges it's gonna be they're gonna cook together. Yeah. But there you go, look at that. All these biscuits. We've got lots. Biscuits everywhere. Alright, so we got the sausage rolling. So much gravy. There is so much gravy. I'm gonna go ahead and put our dry mix in. Per the instruction sheet. You're supposed to whisk in your cold water. Originally, I was debating on making this from scratch, but I don't know. It sounds like a lot of work. It does sound like a lot of work. Okay, so sheerly just in dry mix, there's a huge pile in this thing. That's a lot of dry mix. We got four. We got four cups of water just alone right here, and then we're gonna add another one. And then we're gonna add milk to make it creamy because who wants watered down gravy? I mean, nobody wants watered down gravy, Mr. Pool. I feel like this is a gallon of gravy. It's, it's almost a gallon of gravy. I'm telling you, it's like three quarts. 
a lot. A lot of look at that. <laughs> it is a pile of gravy. Look at that. I mean, this pot is. I mean, when you consider, like, it's a pile of gravy. All right, let's put the biscuits in. Biscuits in. Biscuits are going in. Thirteen minutes. Thirteen. Then we'll start putting this in together. The sausage has cooked down. The gravy's ready to roll. Put a little flour in there to thicken it up. It's still a little bit on the thinner side, but. Now we're officially going to make it sausage gravy. Sausage. Start transferring this out. I'm leaving the grease in there. There really honestly wasn't that much. Honestly, I'm going to leave a little bit of it in there. Whatever stays in the pan stays in the pan. I don't know if this is all going to fit in there. It might not. Oh yeah, you got it. Think it'll go? I think it'll go in there. I am trying to drain some of it off. There was a little bit more in there than I thought there was. Upset that Anderson never gets anything. Here. Here. He missed it. And he missed he it. He missed it. One tray. Two trays. They look flaky. That's good. They're supposed to be flaky. We got a. We got my big two gallon bowl here. The likelihood only one stuck. Not even burned. I did pretty good on that one, right? <laughs> Not like my normal. You gonna uh, like put a layer down, put some gravy on it. Put some put gravy on it, down. put a layer down. That's my plan. It's gonna be epic right here. The first pour. That's going to be hot. Yeah, it is. We're going to learn from our mistakes and we're going to let this cool down a lot. Now you're in another set of these. Is this what they would consider in the UK scones? Biscuits? Scones, like bread, biscuits? Mr. Pole, that's like a whole bunch of biscuits. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, it's seriously already getting heavy and I haven't even, look at this freaking pot of gravy. I still have all this to put in there. Make sure you get in good and close on this oh, one. Yeah. Sausagey. All right, Killer Clan. Yeah, so as you saw in the previous clips, me and Mr. Poole went ahead and put together this huge biscuits and gravy challenge. It's got 32 biscuits, almost a gallon of gravy, four pounds of sausage. Right now, it is steaming hot. Nobody likes anything super, super cold, unless you're talking about the coldest water. Make sure you go over and get yourself one of these bottles, 21 ounces, up to a gallon. Use my promo code below. Get yourself a little discount. Kick me back some. Make sure you check them out. We're gonna let this thing cool down. Then we're gonna get into it. All right, so we went ahead and let this stuff cool down here a little bit. I got my timer, it's off to the side because everybody always says I block it with my head, so there it is. I have no idea how long it's gonna take it. Me and 
Mr. Poole scaled this thing a little over 15 pounds. I, I don't, honestly don't know what the biggest biscuits and gravy challenge on YouTube is, but this has got to be... It's got to be up there. But without further ado, the 15 pound biscuits and gravy challenge. Three, two, one. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, that, look how hot that is. <laughs> it's steaming hot. It's definitely hot. They are flaky. Look at that, it's pull apart. I almost feel like I need some syrup for on these. It's good. I got a big spoon and a little spoon. I'm not sure what I'm gonna need. Mmm, the sausage is good. Things are pretty good. I think these taste better than when I use them to make a, the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. I think they uh, they weren't like the layered kind. I think the last. Biscuits and gravy I had were from the Dubois Diner breakfast buffet, so that's how y'all want to be that one. <clears throat> I have to agree with Mr. Poole. I think the last time I had biscuits and gravy was before the whole COVID thing. Magnus Peterson just sent me some Sir Strowman. Um, just the can, I'm like, oh, dude. Don't worry, I'm getting Molly and Annie involved in that one. Uh uh. Nope. <clears throat> His letter explicitly said, I love you guys, plural. So I have to do it with more than one person. Call me below if you like Grant's biscuits. Mm, like Fun. Biscuits, cinnamon, rolls are cinnamon rolls are bare. Fun fact, they used to call me the Pillsbury Doughboy in high school. PBDB. is what they used to call me. Actually had hair in it. <laughs> I don't know what it was from. It was actually in the meat. So it could have been from the packaging. It's okay. Also, I, I worked at McDonald's in high school. Nothing's good. Also, could have been on the uh, spatula that you used. Could have been. It's like a blazing hat, Mr. Poole. I think you use sausage gravy on a lot of things. Though. Not just like, <coughs> not just biscuits. Before you get all upset in the comment section, I'm not giving Anderson any of this gravy with meat in it because it'll give him the poop.
Look at this, how thick, thick and it got. Really thick and dumb. It's really good though, I mean, you think after you ate like 20 biscuits, it would start to not be good, but it's actually pretty good. Another fun fact, breakfast is my favorite. I could eat breakfast, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and be perfectly satisfied with it. Out <laughs> of her movement. I'm like, I'll show you my movement after I'm done with this. <laughs> Ten biscuits. Ten biscuits and a pile of gravy. Well, ten, ten and a half biscuits. Some guy commented, "You could be the one of the goats. Well, maybe at least top twenty. <sighs> My top twenty. You could be one of the goats or top twenty. That kind of that eliminates me from being a goat." It has literally not cooled off at all. Look at that. This is also an extreme indicator that all of my challenges are like too legit to quit because you can tell them I'm sweating one because the food is blazing hot and two because my metabolism goes through the roof because I'm actually eating all of it. I'm not taking any jabs at anybody, I'm just saying. I'm gonna be the most hated man soon. Sixteen and a half minutes in, we got rid of all the biscuits. Now I just got this plethora of gravy in here. Oh, so much. It's a uh, literally just probably like a half a gallon or three quarters of a gallon of gravy and sausage. Oh, it's so much in here. Ah, hidden biscuit. That's pretty sad when your biscuits can hide. That sausage is still piping hot. I'm not surprised. My burger's hot. Wow. 
I'll tell you what, I think you be eating sausages. Pretty bang. You guys want to see the replay of the spaghetti? Was I could put this in the boot and chug it. God's boot sausage. Two minutes. Twenty-two minutes. Take down the biggest bowl of biscuits and gravy I've ever seen. Oh. I feel like I'm 110 degrees right now. Wow. Anyways, I hope you like this edition of Giant Foods. Keep commenting below, I'm going through them. This was subscriber requested. Jump over to thecoldestwater.com. Use my promo code below, get yourself a discount. Kick killer back some change. You want one of these t-shirts? I have them, medium through 2X. 20 bucks, postage included. PayPal Kennedy Collision at gmail.com. Include your address and your size, and I'll get it right out to you. Until next time. Have yourself some biscuits and gravy. I just don't recommend 15 and a half pounds of it. Take it easy.